This is Red Carpet Flies News on the Fly, bringing you daily unique and interesting entertainment, celebrity, and luxury news. Before we get started, you know what to do. Like, follow, and subscribe to Red Carpet Fly, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single News on the Fly episode. First of all, I want to send out prayers to the families in the Uvalde school shooting. I used to live in San Antonio and had friends that lived in Uvalde at one time, so my heart aches for the kids and families. It's a shame that we have to go through these types of horrific and traumatic events so often. Last week it was the mass shootings in Buffalo and Laguna Woods, and now another one at a school in Uvalde. It's just, it's really a shame, and I really wanted to take time out to address that. On a lighter note, let's get into these headlines. So Time Magazine just announced its 100 Most Influential People. Each year, the list of influential people is broken down into categories, including artists, innovators, titan, leaders, icons, and pioneers. Some of the people making that list is Mary J. Blige, who is in the icon category. Also in the icon category is Issa Rae, the actress and creator of HBO's hit show Insecure. Jasmine Sullivan, Zoe Kravitz, Sarah Jessica Parker, Quinta Brunson, Amanda Sigfield, Jeremy Strong, Channy Tatum, and Pete Davidson are some of the influential people in the artist category. Fun fact, I actually got to meet Quinta at a red carpet event and accidentally called her Brescia. Now these two ladies don't look anything alike, but one thing they do have in common is that they are petite. And anyone who's covered red carpets knows that red carpets move fast and you have to hustle to get your interviews. So I called out, Brescia, can I get an interview? And when I tell you, she turned around and looked at me with this death stare and said, I am not Brescia. I was so embarrassed. However, she was nice enough to do a drop for me. So that was good. I didn't get the interview, but I got the drop. Anyway, in the Titan category, Tim Cook, Oprah, and Michelle Yao made this cut. I really want to see that Michelle Yao new movie, Everything Everywhere All at Once. It looks like it's really good. Interestingly, Kris Jenner, the famous momager of the Kardashian-Jenner clan, made this list. Lastly, in the leader category is Volodymyr Volinsky, Ketanji Brown-Jackson, and Joe Biden, and Vladimir Putin. You know, it's really interesting who Time chooses to put on this list. To see the list in its entirety, check out Time.com. Who do you guys think should be on this list? Do you guys even think the people that are on this list are influential? Comment below and let me know what you think. So, I know you're probably tired of hearing about Kourtney Kardashian and her wedding, or just another Kardashian story, but I swear this is a good story. So, a recent Fashionista article asked the question, what is the deal with Kourtney Kardashian's Dolce & Gabbana branded wedding? Which is a very interesting question because if you've been watching, Her third wedding in Portofino, Italy, everyone was Dolce Gabbana down. And Dolce Gabbana hosted several events like welcoming the Kardashian, Jenner, and Baker families on their mega yacht and hosting the wedding itself held at Villa Oliveta, a Dolce Gabbana property. But why? According to this article, as recently as 2021, sources at the brand insisted that they don't participate in the pay-for-play styling game. Parties familiar with the Hollywood stylist scene pointed out that it's a big relationship business and that they have made a key move in 2020 when it hired longtime Versace veteran Lucio De Rosa to serve as the worldwide head of celebrity and VIP relations. But money doesn't have to exchange hands for both parties to see benefits here. Dolce & Gabbana has undertaken a years-long effort to rehabilitate its public image after a 2018 incident in which co-founder Stefano Gabbana sent several racist DMs to users pointing out that a campaign intended to promote its Shanghai fashion show featured racially insensitive stereotypes. Certainly, considering the amount of A-list celebrities who have chosen the brand for high-profile events in recent months, De Rosa has been a key player in making those plans successful. So scoring such a tremendous placement at one of the year's biggest celebrity weddings can only further that goal. So did Courtney and Travis's nuptials merely serve as one giant piece of Dolce Gabbana hashtag sponsor con? I feel like this article is strongly suggesting that, which I'm just going to say is unfair. I know girls, aka some of my sorority sisters, who try to have big lavish weddings like these celebrities do, but they don't know that not even the celebrities are paying for their weddings. I know Kim had several sponsors for her wedding and so did Star Jones. This is a genius idea and trust me, I'm not hating on the Car Jenners. Them chicks are hustlers. When I have a wedding, I'm going to try to find some sponsorships too to help offset the cost of having a wedding. Weddings are expensive. 
You know, I wonder, what does the contract look like for something like this? I would really like to see a reality show on the type of deals Kris Jenner solidifies for her daughters. Like I said, weddings are expensive, so girls or guys, if that's what you want, I suggest you get creative because that's what these celebrities do. Shoot, you better take a page out of their book and try to save some money where you can. This wedding costs a lot, but Dolce & Gabbana bet on the right horse because they're going to make their money back in the clothes that they sell because people see it on the Kardashians. And if not in the clothes, people are going to want to rent the Villa Olivetta where the wedding was held. That venue was already beautiful and it was owned by a luxury brand, but it's even more valuable because there was a Kardashian wedding held there. You know, <laughs> brava to these ladies. I really have to tip my hat off to them. They stay making money even when they're having a good time. Now that is wealth. More in fashion news, Mario Lopez, AKA AC Slater from Saved by the Bell is launching a shoe line. Yep, you heard that correctly. According to Women's Wear Daily, the actor and two-time Emmy award-winning host has teamed up with SCL Footwear to roll out Mario Lopez footwear later this year. Geared for men and boys, the styles will include dress shoes as well as more casual styles including sneakers, slippers, and boots. The father of three who keeps his 2 million Instagram followers up to speed about his children's athletic pursuits is developing a collection that will reflect his own lifestyle and personal choices. The footwear will retail from $50 to $70. Lopez considered footwear to be the next best progression for his nationally growing brand, according to a spokesperson. Mario has a certain affinity for footwear and felt that having stylish footwear with added comfort is the perfect complement to a man's wardrobe. By teaming up with SCL Footwear, he will be working with the wholesale footwear manufacturer that produces kicks for Daisy Fuentes, Goodyear, Outdoor Life, and other brands. So what do you guys think of sporting some Mario Lopez shoes? I follow him on Instagram and I don't know about the dress shoes, but Mario and his kids are definitely into sports, so I can see him making some good sports shoes or sneakers. By the way, Mario's wife is the greatest and funny. I got an opportunity to interview both of them at an event and she is just so funny and down to earth and so is Mario. So I can see why they're married. They make a great couple and they just have just a wonderful family. Anywho, make sure you check out Mario Lopez on Access Hollywood and make sure you check out his shoes that come out later this year. Comment below and let me know if you're going to cop a pair. Well that's it for Red Carpet Flies News on the Fly. Please like, follow, subscribe, and share our YouTube channel Red Carpet Fly. And also follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Red Carpet Fly. And until tomorrow, always stay fly.